Namaste, everyone. I serve as the Chief Strategic and Information Officer in the Water Authority of Fiji. As an organization, we are responsible for water and wastewater services to all Fijian citizens and visitors to the Republic of Fiji. In the year 2014, there were two employees that uh, were granted the same ITEC scholarship. Late, uh, one of them was late uh, Mr. Chaseya Tangevetaua and myself. The scholarship was for training in Gujarat, India, in business research methodologies and data analysis. The first thing we learned uh, was the meaning of dry state when it landed in Gujarat. Both of us serving as business analysts back then in 2014. The course that we had uh, been granted scholarship has addressed both uh, areas, quantitative and qualitative aspects of research and analysis. Further, the visits of historical sites and especially learning about Gadsisar Lake in Rajasthan that was famous for works related to, uh, related to collection of water and maintaining supply during the dry seasons. This training offered more than just material knowledge. Uh, India is rich in culture, spirituality, which is evident wherever we traveled as a group. About the group, there were, pe there were people from 29 different countries in our group, from almost all sides of the earth. This course made it possible to meet people of different cultures, different backgrounds. It further provided more understanding of nations we had only seen on screens, country like, countries like Myanmar, Madagascar. Uh, we have heard about, but we have not uh, met people or we did not hear much on our school curriculum. But this course made it possible for us to meet people from Myanmar, from Madagascar, from Lesotho, uh, even, even as far as uh, the South America, Peru. Uh, there were more to these countries than what we knew. Uh, further, the government of India had planned two weeks of traveling uh, the incredible India. Every person we met during these visits expelled great knowledge in whatever they were doing in their daily lives. This included making shoes, belts, selling, um, uh, we learned how to bargain, actually. In Fiji, there is no bargaining when we purchase something off the shelf. In India, what we had learned was bargaining was part of the culture. And coming back, we now knew what how to bargain for things that we were buying. So we learned more than this, what was taught in the schools. The taste of food, language, clothing also changed every 100 kilometers. Uh, thanks to our tour guides for enabling us in, in our interactions. The learnings from this course were used to design a uh, resourcing model uh, that we used for creating zones in Fiji that had district metering areas. It is known as DMAs in the water sector. So this is normally used to address loss of water. Our loss was around 51% back then. So the model was to create Fiji's first 73 district metering area or DMAs and 10 zones in the central eastern region. The preliminary works led to reduction of water loss from 51 to 39%. Uh, within two to two and a half years. The resourcing model was refined by late David Grinder, one of the engineers from Australia, Lakshman Natanyake. He was uh, our chief operating officer then from Sri Lanka. Opate Ravai, our CEO, and Mr. Taitusi Vakandravuyada. Mr. Taitusi currently serves as the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Public Works and Transport in Fiji. Back then, he was uh, our general manager for special projects. The model was further enhanced in 2022, which is last year, to suit the changes in water sector. I take this opportunity to thank the government of India, the office of the Indian High Commission uh, to Fiji, and their uh, staff members to have given us the support, uh, the um, know-how before even we left for India. And even after coming back, the number of engagements we have as ITEC alumni is amazing. So once again, thank, thanks to the government of India and its people. Thank you.